Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mantis Experience. It has been two years since we decided to purchase our Mantis. And so in this video today, I'm gonna share what our experience has been like. To kick things off, I think it would be beneficial just to provide a little bit of context as to why we even chose our Taxa Mantis. Um, my cousin has a 2018 Mantis and thankfully he let us borrow it uh, for a couple of different trips. And so we ultimately spent about seven or eight days on a couple of different trips with his Mantis, getting an understanding, getting a feel for the Mantis, to see is this something that we would like to um, you know potentially uh, purchase because we all know this is not a insignificant purchase um, and so that was a great experience for us to be able to get a feel get an understanding of the mantis the different um, nuances whatever you want to call it about the mantis just so we could understand and ultimately after we were able to do that we fell in love with it uh, we did a trip to uh, the back country of Big Bend and camped out there for about five or six days. And when we were driving home from that experience, we, my wife and I both looked at each other and said, yeah, this is the, this is the camper for us. So we came home and started talking to some different dealers. Um, you know, one thing to note, this was actually before COVID. Uh, so this isn't, I know there's been a lot of campers that have been purchased as a, a COVID purchase, nothing wrong with that. Um, but just again, for some context and some background to help you understand. Um, so we started talking to some dealers and ultimately, and, and you know, honestly, the, the Facebook groups were a great resource to get good insight as to uh, who are some great dealers. And, you know, after talking with a few different dealers, um, ultimately settled on road trip camping out of Virginia. And that's a long haul from Texas, but it was very important to me um, to have the right kind of dealer that would take care of me beyond the transaction. And uh, Warren Keeley, the owner of Road Trip Camping, I spoke to him a number of different times and he just gave me that, that sense of, of peace that, you know, I'm a customer for life. And, um, you know, should we run into any troubles beyond the transaction, they would help us rectify the situation in any way uh, that we could make it happen. So, you know, that's one thing I really want to focus on about the entire experience. It all starts with your dealer. And you can go search the Facebook groups. You can take my word for it. You can ask around. Um, I've only had a transaction with Warren and his team at Road Trip Camping. And I will tell you, I'm so thankful that I became a customer of Road Trip Camping because inevitably there are things that will go wrong with any camper. It's not a taxa outdoor specific issue. It's with any camper things are just going to go wrong. It's the nature of the beast. And having the ability to give Warren a phone call or Bethany or the rest of their team at Road Trip, it's just made for an incredible experience and has allowed us to expedite the issues that we have had to get them resolved in a timely manner so that we're not having downtime from being able to go camping. The next question that I see a lot is does stuff break? Like I said earlier, stuff is inevitably going to break over time. It could be little things, it can be bigger things. Um, one thing that we love about the Mantis is the simplicity within the design and the modularity of it. And, and when I talk about that, if something breaks back here or you know, pretty much anywhere within the camper, it's not an act of Congress to try and fix that yourself. If you have some common tools and some common skill sets, 
it's very simple um, to be able to access if it's an electrical issue, if it's, you know, whatever the case may be, everything is very accessible. And that's one of the things that we really like about the Taximantis. So when I talk about the usage in the two years that we've owned it, I guesstimated uh, that we have spent about 55 to 60 nights in our camper. In those 55 to, to 60 nights, we have taken our camper all over the place. We have been to uh, a number of Texas state parks. We have been to the Padre Island National Seashore. We actually just got back from our second trip to the Padre Island National Seashore. If you're interested in what that experience is like, uh, I do have a video about that on my channel that you can go watch. Additionally, we've been to uh, Big Bend National Park and done backcountry camping there. We've also been to a number of different national forests um, in New Mexico and Colorado. I bring up all the different places that we've been because I have this motto or mantra, whatever you wanna call it in life, that is I wanna go where I wanna go when I wanna go there. And that's one of the things that brought us uh, you know, to the Taximantis is because when you push something to its limits, you need the ability to be able to fix things, right? And I talked about the accessibility, the, you know, you, you'll hear people talk about having a popped rivet or something like that. We haven't experienced that, but we've got the tools to be able to fix those things on the, on the fly if we need to be able to do so. The next thing I'm gonna talk about are some of the things that we love and some of the things that we would change. The first thing that we love is the ability to directly plug in a solar setup. Last summer, we did a 10 day trip in Northern New Mexico and then up into Colorado. And we were boondocking, which is our preferred way of, of camping. And I really don't think there's a battery setup that's going to last you for 10 days boondocking, right? Sure, if you're plugged into shore power, yeah, no problem. Uh, but when you're boondocking, you really need the ability to keep your batteries topped up so that your fridge stays charged, your, your food stays cold. Um, you can charge, you know, whatever devices or, or, you know, whatever you need, keep the lights on. Um, you need to be able to have a, a solution for this. And um, there's a lot of people that have done a lot of different things. People have done with, with uh, hard mounted solar solutions. People have done the suitcase style. People have done the, the lithium batteries. We decided to go with the, the Renogy 200 watt uh, suitcase style panel with uh, 20 foot leads connected to them. The reason being we live in Texas, it gets hot, right? Um, that would allow us to go camping, be under a shade tree, and then move our solar panel out into the sun to where we can still top up our charge. So that's what works for us. There's not a right or wrong solution, um, but that's what we love is just the ability to plug that in, move our panel 20 feet away. Yeah, every few hours you've got to go out and turn it a little bit to chase the sun. But what I found is we're typically pretty close by and that takes all of 10 seconds out of my day to go do. So it's perfect for us. The next thing that we really love about the Mantis and pretty much all taxa habitats is the ability to personalize them. Um, and what I mean by that is I've, I've seen a number of different people with the same exact camper that set it up entirely different. And, and maybe this is true for all campers out there, I don't know, but um, you know, we just love the ability to kind of refine and iterate as we go. In fact, right before we went to Padre Island National Seashore this week, um, my wife and I came out here and, and just spent a couple of hours on a, on a Saturday afternoon talking about how would we change our setup to make it a little bit neater, uh, family of five, right? Things can get dirty pretty quick, uh, but make it a little bit neater, make it more organized. And so we shuffled some things around. We took some things from behind me here in the kitchen galley, moved them under the, the bed for storage, things that we didn't access that, that often. So we just constantly kind of move some things around and relocate them to be able to meet our needs. And from what I can tell, that's what everybody's able to do um, is, is do something unique that meets their needs for them and their families. 
to continue along with that theme of you know personalization one thing we love about it is the the modular nature of the the taximantis um by that uh you know one thing that i did was added a molly panel just inside the the main cabin door uh for quick access to different things i've got another video on that uh on the channel feel free to go go take a look at it um that's one of my favorite upgrades that i've done uh my wife still thinks i'm kind of a child for it but um i really enjoyed it um, you know, I've seen people that have uh, removed the toilet, which is something that we've thought about too. We really, this is us, we don't really use the indoor shower at all. When we're camping, we use the exterior shower. That's just a personal preference. I would personally like to get rid of the toilet and free up that space. But uh, my wife and my daughter like to have that available in the middle of the night, uh, you know, which makes sense. So we're, we're constantly trying to figure out different things, but if I wanted to remove it, it's not that, that big of a task. I've also seen people uh, customize or reconfigure the fridge platform um, in the Mantis. And so, you know, there's no shortage of, of different ways that um, you can customize or configure things. Um, I've even seen people put uh, gas struts under the um, the bed storage so that you can, you know, have it easily raised and, uh, you know, again, it's all personal preference, but just to, to kind of sum this up, everybody can do something unique with their Mantis and it doesn't require this incredible DIY skill set. Just with a little thought, a little preparation, the right materials, the right tools, you can make uh, whatever happen that you want. Another thing along the lines of the simplicity of the design, which is meant to be a compliment by the way, is the, the milk crates that are used for storage. We love these. Rather than having slide out drawers or anything like that, um, it just makes it incredibly easy when we're packing because uh, we can pull out some milk crates, take it into our kitchen, grab a bunch of stuff, load it in, and then just bring them back out instead of making an, a, a number of different trips uh, inside and out. So we, we love the ability to do that. One thing that we have found, uh, and I know I'm not the only one, uh, but there's a company called Sidio, S-I-D-I-O, that makes a Sidio crate. And we have two of these now in the Mantis. And what makes them a little bit different is that you can actually, they are modular in and of themselves. You can put a mat on the bottom of it. You can have a lid, they're stackable. You can even have dividers within the crates. And we found these to be very helpful with kids snacks and different meals that we have. Um, we used to have those underneath the bottom bunk and we've now moved them under the kitchen galley to make it easier for our kids to be able to get in, get their snacks. We also use it for uh, dish rags and, and, and dish soap and, and different things like that that are common uh, necessities that we use just to help keep them very well organized. Now, they only have a half-sized crate, uh, half as tall, just as, just as deep and wide, um, but I've heard rumors that they're coming out with full-size crates, and if they do that, then we'll probably get some more of the Sidio crates and swap them out with the, the standard milk crates just for further organization. Um, but that's not to say there's anything wrong with the, the milk crates that come in it because we love them. Like I said, you can put them wherever you want um, and it just makes it very easy to sort of organize the Mantis, how it works for you and your family, how it even works for the upcoming trip, depending on where you're going. It's just very simple, easy to use and makes for a really good experience. So now I'm gonna shift gears and go to some things that I wish were on the Mantis or at least an option when purchasing the Mantis. The first thing that I would really love would be a different awning. Now, I'm gonna start by saying there's nothing wrong with the standard eight x eight ARB awning that comes with the Mantis, but I will say I wish there was an option to have a 180 degree, maybe even some form of a 270 uh, that could sort of surround the camper. And I, you know, one big regret is one of the first trips that we took uh, took out with our Mantis. I left out our awning in a torrential storm, and I didn't have it pitched correctly. 
and the awning buckled. It was not the awning's fault. It, was, it wasn't ARB's fault. It wasn't Tax's fault. It was my fault. I've got a video about that blunder as well. But I wish going back that I hadn't tried to save a few pennies by just getting the same exact uh, awning. I wish I had looked at some different options and really evaluated how to put a 180 degree awning just to provide a bit more shade when we're all sitting up under the awning next to the camper. Along the same lines of a different type of awning, I wish that there was an exterior shower tent. Now I've seen people uh, who have mounted these themselves um, after the fact, after buying their Mantis, and they typically do it right over here on the driver's side uh, around the exterior shower setup. And that's one thing that I wish was just an option from the factory or from the dealer is, and maybe it is, right? Uh, I don't think it is from the factory. Maybe dealers put it on, but um, that's one thing that I wish we had was an exterior shower. Like I said, we don't use the interior shower ever. I don't think we've used it once other than maybe hosing off uh, our feet once upon a time, but we've really not used the interior one. So to have a little bit of privacy in an easy manner would be nice. We do have one of those little tiny pop-up shower tents uh, outside, but you know, if, when you're at the National Seashore, for instance, there's a constant, pretty steady breeze, and you've gotta make sure that it's staked down properly in the sand, whatever the case may be, just to have something mounted on the exterior, you know it's not going away. That'd be a really nice feature to have. The last thing that I really, really wish was an option or available or or and i'm still trying to figure out how to maybe do this myself but there are a lot of competing campers out there that have an exterior kitchen or at least an exterior table surface um and that's one thing that we wish uh was was a part of the tax semantics the kitchen is great don't get me wrong we cook a lot of food in here we cook some food um, outside over our solo stove but we always have a six foot camp table that holds extra water that holds um, our dishwashing station etc and it's just one more thing that we have to get out of the, the camper bring it around get set up and then you know ultimately pack it back in when we're done I know this sounds like a first world problem and it is but if there was some way that it was a, a slide out, even if that meant losing a little bit of storage under the beds um, or something on a piano hinge on the exterior that you could fold out once you got to camp, that would be an awesome, awesome feature to be able to have just to pack one less thing um, and, and you know set up and tear down one less thing. So if anybody has any ideas on that, please drop it in the comments uh, because I'm not uh, I'm nothing close to an engineer or uh, a good architect by any means. So I sort of struggle with these, these um, you know, the ways to figure these things out. So if you have any ideas, I'd be all ears to hear what you have. The last question uh, that I'm gonna answer is, would we buy it again? Or do we have some buyer's remorse? Um, you know, as I mentioned, this was not a COVID purchase like a lot of campers, again, it's not right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm just letting you know for some context. Um, this is something that we really wanted to get into. And you know, now that we're two years in, the answer is, is a resounding yes. We would absolutely buy it again. And quite honestly, um, we love our 2020 model more than any of the other models. That was the first year that they introduced the back hatch. Uh, which is an absolute game changer. Uh, it's got the yellow canvas, um, which was the only year to have that. And we love those aspects. And there's some other uh, really good aspects that, that we love about this model. But, you know, after every trip, when we're driving home, I always ask my wife, are you still glad that we bought this, uh, you know, bought the Mantis? And, and, and we have a dialogue around it. And the answer we always come back to is absolutely. So if I had to do it all over again, I would absolutely do it. Um, I know different people have different experiences. So this is just, you know, mine um, and, and our family's experience, but it's been perfect for us. Um, and I think 
you know, I talked a little bit about will it work for us long term later on. I think that's one of the things that we love about it is, you know, we do have the ability to add a rooftop tent on the back of it as our kids get a little bit older, get a little bit bigger, maybe slightly more responsible. Um, but we have the ability to add that um, to where even I'm sure there's going to come a time where they want to bring some friends. So that just ups the sleeping capacity, depending on the size of the tent to, you know, what's what's they advertise as four. Um, we're, we're making it work with five. The three of them are pretty small, um, but we can we can up that to you know six, seven, maybe even eight um, people depending on the the setup. So for us long term, uh, it's been a great purchase. Like I said, we've been able to use it quite a bit. Um, you know, I mentioned 55 to 60 nights that we've been able to use it. I feel like that's very strong usage. Um, we love the modularity of it, the simplicity of it. So all in all, it's been a great purchase for our family. One we would absolutely do again uh, if we had the same decision before us. Anyways, that's it. That's our uh, experience. Two years of having the Mantis. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, uh, leave them in the, the comments section below. Uh, if you have any ideas on the exterior table, I would love to hear them. Thanks for watching this video. And just uh, so you know, my next video or one coming out pretty soon, I'm actually gonna try to park our Mantis in our garage. I know a lot of people ask about that. And so I'm gonna see if I can do it. Again, thanks for watching.